going to show you um, something here. I'm just going to type out the word the Smith family, okay? And I'm typing it in uh, Batania font, B-E-T-A-N-I-A. -A. Just going to bring this up. So normally when you type it out, I'm in Cricut Design Space here. When you type it out, um, you're going to see that it's not all put together properly. So you can go to your font, spa your letter spacing area here and start reducing. Just click on the down arrow um, a few times or more than a few times if you need to until the letters start coming together. I've shown you this in a different video as well. And then when you get to a certain point, um, I would just go right to the ungroup um, on your right, on your upright. Might not be able to see it where I am right now, but you're gonna, let me see if I can turn this camera around without knocking it. So you're gonna go to ungroup over here and then it'll ungroup the text and then you can move everything separate, like just individually like this, okay? If you go too close to each other, that E middle portion will fill in. You'll know when you try to weld it because it fills in. So you need to move it back a little bit more. It's just a matter of playing with your words, with your font. Um, this one looks okay. The H needs to be brought over just a touch. And then this one as well. So what I'm seeing right now and what I see a lot is people will pay attention to this, but aren't paying attention to, say, the F here or the T. They're leaving this space here. That looks a lot better there. That looks more uniform as to how it should be. So I'm going to group that word and I'm going to go to the bottom right and I'm going to hit attach because I don't want those moving. This one looks good as well. Um, from what I can see, everything looks pretty uniform there. So I'm going to attach that one as well. And then I'm going to go to this one. This one looks good and I'm just going to attach that word as well. Now the spacing between each word is a little bit off. So I'm just going to move the word family over a little bit just so that it kind of looks more uniform as well. So now when I put it all together, <clears throat> bring it up bigger, that looks pretty good. So it doesn't look all wonky. Um, so now I can just group it all and then attach or and or weld uh, so that I, I can be cut. Now I'm going to click weld on this one just to make sure that there's no... Uh, everything the E is not filled in it's good so it's welded properly it's welded well and I can go ahead and cut that um, and everything looks nice and uniform again uh, pay attention to not just uh, parts of the word pay attention to all of it where should that capital be sitting in relation to the rest of the word don't have the T sitting out here um, just because you didn't know that you could move it individually over to the rest of the word That's my tip of the day. Talk to you all soon. Bye.